Hi and welcome back to my channel Light in the Lanterns. So today I want to talk to you about a um, very interesting subject about happiness and the question is can, can you be happy every day? Yes you can, you can be happy every day and you know you may be wondering you know how, ca how can this be possible? How can you be happy every day? Well first of all when you were born you were naturally born with happiness. That was your baseline energy. There was nothing else. It was just pure happiness. So basically, you were like that. Your heart and you were like this. And then as you grew up and as you, um, you know, uh, interacted with different people, perhaps you had a negative uh, childhood, perhaps your parents weren't very nice, then the energies start to come around and then you started to slowly, slowly decrease, you had some really bad jobs, bad bosses, bad relationships, bad friendships, horrible siblings, and then eventually you became like this. So now you're like this, you're like this, this is how you're living your life, and this is negative energies, all kinds of energies now controlling you, and they're telling you what to eat, what to do, what to say, who to hate, who to love, how to dress, and making you think bad things. And they're saying, be depressed, be anxious, be stressed out. You are ugly, you are nothing. And that's what's been happening to you. So, you know, then you're now unhappy. Sure, you have days where, you know, they, some days are just okay. You know, you go out, you have a good time. You can smile, laugh, and you know, just feel quite positive about your direction, have a good day at work, create some really nice content, write something really interesting. But you notice know, there's something inside niggling at you, and it always feels like a, like a shadow. It, it's um there's always a shadow, there's always something there niggling at you. You know, you don't you just don't feel quite happy. You you just don't feel 100 percent happy all the time. And you, you try to dis, you try to cover it over with maybe food or, you know, but you're just never happy. So the question is, how can you feel happy every day? How can you get that happiness back? Well, the best place to start is through clearing out things in your life that you know are not good for you. People that are not good for you, people that drain your energy, um, food, you know, you're eating these food and you know they're not good for you. All these things cause you to be like this. Remember this, you're like this now, you're like this. And another thing you can do is um, to start to um, maybe do a fast. And I've got some useful links on my website about fasting. So you can do your own research and you know make your own, make your own decision on, on, on that. But you know, I'm not a doctor, so anything you do health wise, Please seek medical attention but yeah you can look at the, the links on my website about fasting because the reason why I'm mentioning fasting it's very important it's the only spiritual tool and take my word for this please it's the only spiritual tool that can produce spiritual fire to burn off negative energies including witchcraft spells black magic um, or entities that like to attach to us and feed off our energy, which is basically this what's happening here as well, entities. Um, and that's the only thing that can really release you from, from this cage. And I, I, I strongly recommend that you look into that. Um, but, but you can also do all the other things that I said as well, clear out all, all the things that you just know are not good for you. You know, you know the things that are not good for you. You're eating certain foods, and you're thinking, why am I eating this? Why? You're drinking certain things. You're thinking, why? You're going to certain places. And you're thinking, but why? It doesn't make me feel good. When I come home, I feel absolutely crap. Yes? Am I talking to you? <laughs> so when you start fasting, this is what happens. When you start removing people from your life that are no good for you, when you start removing from, say, a controlling religious group, when you start breaking free from family members that are not loving and supporting you, when you start breaking free from that domestic violence relationship that you're in, when you start moving on 
from that job that you absolutely hate, when you start moving on from your frenemies, eventually this is what happens and you come back. You come back to where you were when you were born and your happiness is now like this. This is your baseline energy and the dark energies that were caging you are now over here. They're now over here and that's you and that's your baseline energy. And if you keep doing those things in your life, you always be like this, always be like this. No matter what comes at you, there's that baseline energy. Even when you go through loss, even when you lose someone close to you, you there's still, yes, of course you're gonna feel sad, but there's still that baseline energy. It's unbreakable, it's unstoppable. It's like the sun, it's like the sun. When, I remember when I traveled to Australia and I, all I could see in, when I was up high in the sky was blue sky and sun. It was forever present. And it reminded me that, you know, when we don't see the sun and the blue sky, we think it's disappeared. We just naturally think it's disappeared. We know it hasn't, but we know, we just think it's just disappeared. Um, it hasn't, it's just because of the clouds. If, you were, if we were to never have any clouds, the sky is always blue, the sun is always shining. Of course, except for nighttime when the moon comes out. <laughs> um, so that's a bit like life. You're here, you're the sun, and then things come in and over, overshadow you and you end up like this. And that's the, same, that's the same thing that happens with the sun. When the clouds come, it blocks out the sun. It's like blocking out our happiness. So I want you to just start thinking about those things that you need to clear out of your life. And then you start to feel happy again, like true, genuine happiness. I'm not talking about the happiness that relies on whether somebody who used to speak to you speaks to you today, or if somebody um, gave you a gift, or you had um, something really nice, nice to eat, or you went out and done some retail therapy. I'm talking about genuine happiness that is ever present, never fading, just like the sun and the blue sky. So there's another thing I want to say as well. This isn't just a one-time fix. This is something that you're going to have to do for, for the rest of your life. You're going to have to maintain this authority over your happiness every day. Because you know why? When these energies here, remember, when these energies here have had a taste of you, they've had a taste, they know you, they know your personality, they know your weakness, yes? They know everything about you. They know how they got you and got you in that cage and controlled you. They're going to keep going like this. They're going to wait for every opportunity to come back. And then you get rid of them. Every opportunity. Then you get rid of them. And then another opportunity arises. Then you get rid of them. Oh, you've had some loss in your family. Oh, she's feeling a bit low today. Let's dive in. Oh, she just had some drugs today. Oh, she's, she's been clean for so long. Let's dive in. And they're going to keep forever doing this, ever doing this. And all I can say is that they will always be there. But the good thing is, is that they're there. They're not here anymore. They're there, yes? And I don't think you can really, you can get rid of them as, as, as far as they're not here. But I don't think you can really get rid of them. You know why? Because they've tasted you. They've tasted you, yeah? They got a thrill out of controlling you at some point in your life. And now they're angry. Now they're mad. Now they want you back. They want to get their hook back into you to feed off you. And when they feed off you, you no longer feel like yourself. You become depressed. That's where depression comes from. It's something hooked into you and they're taking the happiness that was rightfully yours. And they've caused depression. For me, the word depression is just another name for a demon. It's just a name for a demon. It's just an energy. It's just a spirit. When you clear depression, it's no longer there. You don't even remember that you were depressed. It's, it's just a name. It's just a name given to a demon. It's like anxiety. It's just a name given to a demon. Yeah? It's, it, they're just names. They're just names. And we've hooked into those names. And we've made those names grow so big. So big. And I'm sorry if you do feel depressed today. But please understand this. Just please have an open mind and heart and understand this, you know. Don't be offended by this. Just understand that it's just an energy. So I hope that this has helped you today. And this is all I need to say to you today. And it's up to you. It's up to you to turn the tide of this energy. You are happy. You were born with happiness, okay. 
there really is no such thing as sadness because regardless of what people say, we are humans, yes, and there is sadness in the world. Yes, you can feel a bit this, a bit that. But be very careful on accepting those statements when people say it's okay to be sad, it's okay to be unhappy. Be careful, by, 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 be careful accepting these statements because it's like you're accepting the demonic energies that are saying be depressed, be sad, be anxious. Yeah, you are ugly, you are nothing. Be careful what you accept. I wouldn't be accepting those as statements. You are free and you are happy. It's just that, unfortunately, the world is the way it is. And we've come in contact with people, including our mothers, our fathers, our brothers and our sisters, our uncles and our aunts. Yes, who have overshadowed us and made our lives feel pretty, pretty crap. And you ask yourself, well, they're my family. I'm supposed to love them. You're nobody saying that you shouldn't love your family. Um, but nobody's saying that you should allow them to treat you badly either. And just because they're your family members, it doesn't mean that you have to stay in contact with them. It doesn't mean that you have to um, stay, you know, keep yourself open to them. You know, you can walk away just like you would with a friend. You can walk away. So that's all I'm going to say to you today. I hope this has helped somebody today. And uh, remember, you are always happy. Your baseline energy is always happy just like the blue sky and the sun. Take care. Thank you for watching.